Hi, this is Norm Hansen, and I just want to share with you four simple ways that you can make a video of yourself showing or making your art um, using things you've already got or things you prob probably don't realize you've got access to. I'll start with the slideshow style presentation. This, these are slideshows are traditional ways to project images onto the wall or photos and you're probably quite familiar with the format we use for the members gallery in theory which we have before each meeting. So there's plenty of um, software to make a slideshow. This is made with PowerPoint, there's also Google Slides and there's dozens of apps on the phones these days that will do the same thing. The key thing is not to make it boring. There's a famous phrase, death by PowerPoint. What you need to do is keep it simple. Big bold images, um, quite limited but uh, bold text and keep it simple. A bit of spoken word and telling a good story is all you need to do. The second approach might surprise you. You can actually use uh, the free Zoom account to record um, your videos. You can only record to a desktop type computer or a Mac or a laptop, but you can use your camera, your phone and iPad as second members and they can be recorded as well. This format is ideal when paging through a sketchbook or painting on a table or desktop. It only requires you to mount your phone or iPad above the table looking down. In this case, I'm using an articulated arm with the webcam on. Knowing that I love my photography, it might surprise you to know that I don't really paint from photographs too often and I probably don't like painting indoors in my studio. And this is a painting I did on Wednesday Wanderers. I love Wednesday Wanderers. And it's based on a photograph uh, I took, but I've, um, first of all, done a conventional sketch in my sketchbook. And even though this is pretty ordinary paper, you can see I much prefer to do sketches in the field. This, this was done on the um, recent trip down to Inverloch. So there's the sketch and then there's the drawing that I did. And I did. You can see the quick marks from the, where I could put onto the board. And this is another one that I sketched first and then painted. So using Zoom to capture your videos is incredibly easy. Use of still images and combining them in an animated fashion, could be drawings or photos, has a long history. It goes back to um, Alexander or Edward Mowbridge and his horses. In fact, Dega actually used, bought the book and used this series to prove that the horses at some stage have all their hooves off the ground. Have a look at the third panel here. And the futurists, um, this is Giacomo Bella, loved the idea of putting motion by um, replicating multiple images. Get it going. This is a series of about 280 still pictures of a card that I made for um, Annie Kelly. Like slideshows, there are lots of tools that can make stop motion videos. Just have a look at uh, the photo applications on your computer. Last format I'll show you is um, probably what I call a gallery walkthrough. 
this is not a gallery I'm just going to show you some of my own art um, they're photos done in a format I call photo mosaics studio walkthrough is something very easy to do because you can do it on your phone and don't forget you don't have to hold your phone vertical you can hold it horizontally if you wish the camera on the other side the rear facing camera is probably a much better camera and don't be afraid to stop on an image for a little while so that people get to see it and here you can see that there's a really big problem when you're photographing through glass. You get the reflection and you get reflected light. But it's not so bad in a movie because it can move and you can and see the detail. And particularly this series is quite interesting because there's quite a lot of detail. The detail that you see is not from the original photo, but from a set of generated patterns. And so that's just as simple as it needs to be. See ya.